Timothy Kirkhope, Conservative MEP for Yorkshire and the Humber. We've heard the judgment from the European Court of Justice on this air pollution case. It says that the UK should have met its obligations and should indeed still meet its obligations under European law. What's your reaction to this judgment? Well, um, as a lawyer, I have to say as well that I'm not so sure it was a judgment as much as a set of comments. Um, I haven't seen a sort of less uh, determined and uh, decisive judgment for a long time in any of these cases. So I think that its comments were, should be well taken in, in the sense that they are encouraging the British government uh, to act as soon as possible to reach the targets that they had originally in their air quality plan which was submitted to the Commission uh, and received an enormous amount of support and I think that's still the situation. We have to move forward as soon as we can to reduce air pollution and uh, I think that is really what the court, court is saying. It's also giving the uh, control of these matters back to national courts uh, which I think is something also that I'd be very pleased, I've been very pleased to hear. Nonetheless, these targets were meant to have been met by 2010. The government, your own government, your own Conservative government, says that in places like Hull uh, and also the Yorkshire and Humber region as a whole, those targets aren't going to be met till 2020, 10 years after they were meant to have been met in European law. Um, is, this, is this court case, is this judgment a wake-up call? Um, well, I think it's just a reminder that we still haven't reached the targets that we would like to have reached by now. Although we did, I think, in, in common with most countries in Europe, uh, make it quite clear that 2010 was over-ambitious. We asked for the five years, certainly to January uh, next year, um, and it now looks as if we can't meet the targets, certainly in relation to certain pollutants. Uh, nitrogen oxide is the obvious one um, at that time. But I mean, we are required to do that as soon as possible, and the government certainly is moving along towards meeting that as soon as it can. In the meanwhile, according to, the fi according to figures from, from health experts, thousands of people are dying prematurely from air pollution, not least in, in these places, in Hull, in Yorkshire. Um, does that not suggest that there is a, an urgency to act, that um, you know, a statement like um, your region's not going to be up to scratch till 2020, a lot of people would, would see that as not good enough? Well, I want to minimise um, the harm that is caused to the health of people in my region, Yorkshire and the Humber. Um, I think uh, if you make comparisons and you go back uh, uh, 10, 20, 30 years, then the amount of harm to people's health is much diminished. Uh, we all know that because of uh, great big changes that have taken place from the Clean Air Act onwards, of course, which the Conservatives were responsible for. And I think we take a very, very responsible attitude now as well. But we have to get, um, make sure we have energy in the country. We have to, we, we know for a fact that pollution takes place from a number of sources, not all of which can be dealt with immediately or without considerable harm to the economy uh, and to the livelihoods of the people that I represent. I want to try and get, if you like, the best of all worlds. I think that's what the government wants as well. And I think we certainly want to reduce pollution. We want to move there as soon as we can, but we have to do it in a way which is uh, proportional and also sensible. Given what you're saying, what kind of concrete steps could be taken by the government and by local authorities in, in Yorkshire to try and meet these targets, to try and cut these pollution levels? Yes, well I think one of the things obviously we have to look at the whole question of uh, using energy economically for a start, using a little less energy because we do, uh, apart from this particular judgment, we do now have a, a, quite a challenge on our hands about the future energy needs and the supply of energy within the UK and um, you know governments over many years now do not seem to have made final decisions quickly enough in order to minimize pollution as part of the uh, as part of uh, the production of energy uh, i think we need to make some very important decisions relating to nuclear energy we need to make some very important decisions regarding the future of uh, our current coal-fired power stations and whether indeed we can move forward with new technology which i have been supporting which is carbon capture um, which means that we can get the pollution out of um, the carbon burning uh, power stations uh, and uh, make sure that it does not have harmful effects on the population. And of course there is the transport issue. 
we know for a fact that transport uh, in its various forms does create uh, quite a lot of pollution. I think we should be looking more at how we can actually minimise uh, or rationalise transport in such a way that there is less pollution in the atmosphere. A lot of these measures will cost money. Is the Conservative-led coalition government prepared to foot the bill for some of these measures to help out local councils that don't have uh, the finances at the moment um, to put measures in place that might help with dealing with this issue? Yes, I mean some of the measures actually require more investment and more resources than others. I think the decision making process is the most important thing and I think the government is committed to reducing pollution. So that is a good start. The actual um, resources overall have got to be found and whether they are paid for at the end of the day, these measures, by central government through central taxation, whether they are paid for as a result of assistance from the EU itself which sets down the uh, standards, whether or not they have to be ultimately paid for by the consumer, and I think a combination of all three is most likely, they have to nevertheless be proceeded with and uh, I would very much want that and, and parts of my region which are particularly affected, you mentioned Hull, uh, you mentioned parts of West Yorkshire too which is equally not um, up to the full standards yet. I mean I'm obviously very keen to make sure that priority is given to my region in achieving the standards that are necessary.